Dude, Coco's lost in my balls. Do you want him as a nuts car? That's how we yeah, sure. that. He'll be jealous. So. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, TK. Hey, that was a pretty good one. I was... Don't boo me because I'm right. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm booing no, you because you caught me with that down. right when I was trying to swallow some spit, motherfucker. <laughs> Went down the wrong <laughs> bite. Look, well, I didn't need to hit that. That's a good like, I don't know about that one. <laughs> so, the butterflies, Kara, you know how when Spark's eating it, it kind of, like, Spark's is kind of following it and stuff even when you're walking? I turned off the despawn object function on the butterfly that Sparks was about to eat. He mm -hmm. ate it turn gold and it made me realize the butterflies have a function that follow Spyro when Sparks is eating it. What do you mean? Look, because Spark because I the last thing I turned off in this line of execution was just despawning it, it's still set to just follow me right now. So there's obviously Interesting. So there's obviously a point when the when the Moby just... Yeah starts following Spyro because that's what it should do when Sparks is eating. It needs to be following. Oh, no, it's not following Spyro. Wait. No, it is. Maybe it is. Damn. At first I thought hey. it was staying a certain place oh, in yeah. front of Sparks so that whenever Sparks was moving they didn't have to animate the butterfly. Oh, that's cool how you it know? just circles you. Yeah. yeah. Carl, can I ask a question for a mate? Yeah, sure. What gem and crystal did you skip? Oh, did I skip? Well, you've got ten trophies, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. What did I skip? Do you get a trophy for the... the bosses? No. You, you don't, no. Nah. Not no, did I skip? What happens, I don't know. What happens when you take damage and Sparks goes after the butterfly? Well, so hey, like, I'll probably just go to eat in the end, but let's see, actually. No. It is not... Uh, oh. Yeah, it's because the butterfly was far away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if you take a bunch of uh, damage? Will they gain them back incrementally or all at once? Incrementally. Hmm. It's interesting to watch. Yeah, it is funny to watch yeah, the chomp and then the butterfly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the point in the function when it's following Spyro, because he's obviously set to spin up until right now to when he follows, so I'm gonna set a break point on his position. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, see where it's updating his position. That's gonna be the function that's tying it to Spyro. Oh, wasn't Waffle working on something to where people could, like, give <laughs> Spyro power-ups through chat or something. I, it was like a crowd control almost. Yeah. Like a crowd control esque thing. That that would be an interesting thing to put in there is uh invincible butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not truly invincible, but you re passively regain health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is a, fun, a cool like thing. Did Dayo do use that... 120 crowd control? I think so. He did a few crowd control things. Yeah. Um, dude, now that makes me want to come up with, like, Spyro, like, roguelike items. Because that sounds oh. like a roguelike item. Like, mm. fucking oh, in yeah. in invincibility rogue butterfly. Roguelike's like crack, man. Oh, dude, oh I know. God. I played the fuck out of Risk of Rain, Risk of Rain 2. I played a bunch of Binding oh, of Isaac. That was, like, my go-to. Um, although I've heard that, like, because I'm also a big Pokemon fan, Pokemon Emerald Rogue looks really mm -hmm. good as well. Also, by the way, Kara, this is one of those mini games that you either get at first try or you spend 30 bajillion years trying to get yeah. it. Like, so, like, don't be discouraged if you know what you're Oh, doing. no, I know. It's fucking. Mm -hmm. Is it consistently hitting that same left angle? Honestly, you can kind of just, like, play with that. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Because at least you know where it's going to basically hit almost every time. Yeah, pretty much. I feel like sometimes, though, it goes, like, straight down. So it's just, yeah, yeah Spyro... it, sometimes it seems a little different. Yeah. Spyro 3 would probably be the most interesting game to turn into a roguelike, just because there's a lot of interesting things that can be done with that. Like, 
I wonder if it would be possible to make Sparks shoot projectiles like in the Sparks missions, but while following Spyro, if you were, if you finessed oh my it. God. <laughs> my guess is no, just because Sparks is a Moby, and I know yeah. that 